Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is April the 26th of 2023 and I'd like to share with you another word from the Lord this morning. Once again, I'd like to thank all of you who are following my channel. I thank you for your support, your prayer support, and for your encouraging comments. I thank you for participating, for your response, and for your embracing of these words. And I pray the Lord will bless you abundantly as you receive his word. For those of you who are new to this channel, if you like this content, please take a minute to subscribe and to click the notification bell for further notification of videos as they come out. For those of you who would want a hard copy of this word, it can be found on my website, a downloadable, printable PDF is available. Just click on the right hand corner and you will be able to access the PDF file. For those of you who would like to review previous words, please go to the archive files on the website. My website address can be found in the description box below. Once again, this word today reads as a letter from the Lord. And I think that is the way we need to receive these words. Though there is teaching in them, the Lord is speaking and revealing his heart to us. And so to me, that is of great value to have this connection with our Lord and Savior. God loves his people. He wants to have a relationship with them. He wants to communicate with us and encourage us to continue to put our faith in him. I hope this word today will bless all you who are listening. The title of this word is Made New. I'll begin by reading scripture. Revelation 21, verses 5 and 6. I am making everything new. To him who is thirsty, I will give to drink without cost from the spring of the water of life. On reading this scripture passage, we may think, well, this scripture is from Revelation, so it does not apply to our lives today. However, the Lord is telling us that he is bringing forth this promise made in Revelation even in this day. I hope we can receive it and grasp onto it. I'll begin reading the word. Today is the day. All things are being made new. Every enemy is being trampled beneath your feet, and you are emerging victorious. I am taking you in, says the Lord. I have heard your hearts cry to enter the fullness of my spirit and to die to the flesh, and I am at work. You will be changed, totally transformed into the image of the Master. You will walk in the full authority of the sons of God. I am releasing abundant blessing upon your households. Heaven's doors are opening and rains of righteousness are pouring down. Streams of living water are being released into your midst. Every vile thing is being washed up and away to be replaced with the love and light of Christ. Rejoice, for the Lord your God has come to bring everything in line with his word. I will take you forward. I will propel you on. It is not a work of the flesh. I am changing you. You will be made new, and I will use you. I will break every chain. 
every fear off you, and you shall go free. I am taking you into the land of the living. You will not be the same. The old facade is coming down, and a new you is emerging. Every crag, every rocky place will be smoothed out. You will see the rough edges refined. No longer will the old nature emerge, but you will function totally and completely in the Spirit of God. Your thoughts will be my thoughts, says the Lord, for I am implanting within you my heart for the nations. No longer will you be bound up with destructive thoughts. Your whole countenance shall be changed as I bring you out of death into the land of the living. For a new day has dawned, and the old has passed away. I am preparing you for a work the pieces are in place. You shall bring life to the hopeless, to those in despair. This is the day of release, of your deliverance. You shall go forth with the light of Jesus to bring his light into the darkness. For the light of the Lord shall radiate forth from you. Those who are sick, shall be healed by the presence of the Lord that flows forth through you. Those who are grieving will be lifted on high by the words you speak, and they shall be brought into life. Mountains before you shall be brought low, and valleys shall be raised up. I am making the way, and every detail is in my hands, says the Lord. Do not despise the day of small beginnings. Do not doubt the promises of God and the power of God to perform them. I am an awesome God. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. I am able to perform feats beyond all all human comprehension. I am able to take the most defiled and detestable thing and mold it and make it into pure gold. There is nothing that I can't do and won't do for those whose hearts are toward me and have found favor in my sight. This is the day, says the Lord, when all things shall be brought into order. I am orchestrating the work of my spirit to bring down the high places and raise up the low. I am pulling down every stronghold over the people. I have sent my servants out and they are at work, capturing those things that exalt themselves above the knowledge of God, and pulling them to the ground. No longer shall the works of the enemy flourish in this day, but by the power of my Spirit, every work of the enemy shall be exposed, captured, and pulled down. I am building a church in this day who shall go forth in victory, and there shall be no defeat, for I am the captain of the hosts, and I am leading my army across the land. Great is the Lord, and great is his power and might in battle. Call upon the Lord. Reach out to take what is yours. I am releasing myself to my people in this day. I am filling them to the full, forming myself in them, and they shall be radiant. I am releasing rivers of living water into them. They shall prophesy, and the words of their mouths shall bring down the high places and raise up the low. They shall cut off the attacks of the enemy. They shall use the sword of the Spirit to cut away the works of darkness over the lives of the people. They shall minister life and liberty through the words they speak, for their words shall be the words of the Lord, piercing and cutting to the heart. I am giving my people discernment in this day. 
and every weapon of warfare shall be employed to annihilate the enemy from the lives of the people, says the Lord. Watch, and you will see the master's touch being poured out, just as the potter forms the clay into a useful vessel, the master potter is forming the people into vessels he can use for his purposes. The lump is being worked on, pulled, and stretched into shape. You will see the changes. You will see those who have been purposeless in life, fashioned into beautiful vessels with purpose. I will not leave my people in turmoil, says the Lord. I will not forsake them in their time of need and hour of trial. I will not forget my promises toward them, but I will reach down, touch them, heal them, and mold them into precious instruments useful to their Maker. Many have been lost out to sea, tossed to and fro, ravished by the enemy. But in this day I am taking back what is mine. I am taking back everything the enemy has stolen and bringing my people into the land of plenty. No longer shall they go hungry and thirsty, but they shall be filled to capacity with the fullness of Christ. The children shall be blessed abundantly beyond measure. No longer shall they wander in a dry and desert land, but they shall enter the land of promise and prosper and be great in the land. They shall be bear much fruit for the kingdom of God, for I shall employ them in the work of the kingdom. I shall place them into their position of authority, the place that has been prepared for them since the beginning to do the works they have been called in advance to do. Do not doubt the power of God at work in your life in this day, says the Lord. Do not doubt that the Lord loves you, is for you, and is working on your behalf. Do not doubt the promises that have been made to you, the words that have been spoken to you. Every word shall come to pass. I am directing your ways, your path. Follow along closely. Do not be distracted. Do not look in the wrong places. Keep focused upon the King. He is about to lead you through the doors into everlasting joy. Let go of the past. Let go of the hindrances. Do not hold on to the things of yesterday. I am doing a new thing. New every morning, says the Lord. Be ready to be transported far and wide. I am taking you out into places prepared for you. You will be taken into places of darkness to bring the light of Christ, to bring freedom to the captives, release to those in prison, sight to the blind. Go, do not hesitate, but go forth into the places prepared for you. You will not be alone. I am with you. I am leading the way. So follow me, says the Lord. This word this morning is quite lengthy once again. And so I hope you were able to follow along as I read it. But the message the Lord is sharing with us today is that he is changing us. In this world we live in, we see much that is out of order. Things around us look very chaotic. And we have a desire to see these things coming into proper order. I'm not saying the Lord is not addressing the chaos around us. But in this word today, he is addressing the chaos in our lives our personal lives, because he is changing us, just as a potter puts a clump of clay 
onto the potter's wheel and works at it to perfect it and make it into something beautiful and useful. The Lord is doing that in our lives. And so this word today may not be addressing those things in the world around us as much as it is addressing the work that the Lord is doing in his people. The Lord has been giving us many words about this work he is doing in us. But it seems a breakthrough is coming soon because the Lord is telling us all things are being made new. We will be made new, filled to the fullness of his spirit, not entertaining the fleshly desires, set free and delivered from the strongholds that have held us back from emerging into the new thing the Lord is doing. The Lord is telling us that we are the army of God. He is the captain of the hosts and he is leading us into victory. He is telling us nothing is impossible for him. Nothing is too difficult. Even the most detestable thing can be made into something beautiful by the power and work of his spirit. And so I hope today the message you will receive is a message of hope that the Lord is making all things new. The old is passing away and the new thing is coming forth. And so let's all be encouraged on this day that the kingdom of God is being established in the earth. It is not a kingdom of this world, but it is a kingdom of victors in Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening today. May the Lord bless you, encourage you, cause you to prosper and be in good health. May you look to him and receive all that he has for you in this day. Have a great afternoon and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings. Bye for now.